Joined here by Darren Schoenrock, Tigers head coach, as the Tigers win their first series of the season in their first attempt, taking two out of three against Western Kentucky. So uh, let's start with that. Uh, you want to start off the season on a bright note, and you certainly did. We did. I, I told the club, uh, Greg, that, that I think that's going to be a really good series win. They, they, they're mixing in a lot of new junior college players, like 15 of them. And typically those kind of clubs will get better and better as the year goes on. And uh, we, we need them to go do well in Conference USA, and I think they will. I think they've got some, some pieces that, that they'll match up okay uh, in that league. And, and, and we look for them to – I think that will be a good series win. Series wins are always good, always good to get the first one. You talked to me before the season started that pitching is where you think you guys excel. You feel that you're deeper than you have been. And we saw great pitching this – opening series starting pitching relief pitching let's talk specifically about the double dip game one you hate to have an outing like that from Bolin and not come away with a W but boy what he brings to the table and he, he was tremendous this control was tremendous too it was very good you know and you credit Western Kentucky they scored their three runs with two outs they they uh, the, the ball they hit off Colton was a changeup that was down he kind of hooked it down the line uh, it, it they did the two out damage we did the two out damage in the second game but and uh, usually teams that can drive runs in with two outs are going to win games. So, but I like I liked our, our options uh, rotation wise. Hicksy was good, Bolin was good, Riley Cabral was good last night. Th those those three give you a chance to get that game to the to the later innings of the game with a chance to win. Well, you brought up Hicksy. The the sinker has to work to be effective. It certainly worked. He was in command. He was in command, and he's more in command of his. Emotions and mentally, he, he's, he, can, he has the ability now as a junior to get locked in a little differently than he did the previous two years, and, and that's why he's able to stretch things out and, and you know get that sinker going. He's not giving away as much from the mound. He's making teams swing to beat him now. We know on offense, it's not like the old Earl Weaver deal, two on base, hit a three-run home run, because you don't have the power you had last season, so you, man, you factor, and, and we saw that in the first couple games. You guys came out swinging the bats in that third game, and the bottom of the lineup was tremendous. But Look, Carlos Williams gets his chance to start now, and he came through. But this kid I just talked to, Evan Bell, where did that come from? Well, he's a tremendous worker to start with and came in with good tools, and, and uh, we spent a redshirt year last year kind of changing who he was. He, he really bought in. Uh, he's improved defensively. He's a very good runner, and he, he's actually our probably our top candidate as a pinch runner in a close game. But I wanted to – we're facing the lefty, wanted to give him some A-Bs because he's been swinging it well in practice, and he took advantage of an opportunity. So that was really encouraging to see. And it's good to see guys that, that work like Evan d does, you know, benefit from that and, and get something to show for it. Your preseason all-conference player off to a great oh, start, Tyler Webb. He's just, you know, he stays in the zone a long time. He's covering both halves of the plate, and and, uh, and, and he's running good. You know, he's... He's been battling a little hamstring. We got him out of there late, but but really like what he's doing in that two hole for us. And and we got to get Trello going, and he will. You know, it's, there's some timing issues there. Kale Henneman's been a whole year without playing. He'll get going. You saw he he he's a he's a pesky type four hole hitter. He's almost a two hole type guy. That I got him in that four or five hole now because he has ability to to you know flick right. balls out there and drive runs in. What a difference a game makes first time watching Olette play. Huh. In game one, he gets two knocks. He hits it on the screws four times. In game two, he can't even make contact. That's, it, it, you know, well, he, he wasn't seeing that guy's slider, and, and they cross-counted him some. And, and you, don't, you don't see that in junior college much where, where they go controlled fastballs ahead in the count, uh, located breaking balls behind the count. So they cross-counted, and they got him a little bit out of whack, and, and it just kind of spiraled out. We're going we're gonna to get back to work on some things with him. He's gonna. He's a guy that I think when he he's just like a lot of the Western Kentucky guys, when he gets more Division One at bats under his belt and he understands what how the different the pitching is at this level, I think he'll get better. All right, nothing like having your first road test in yeah. Oxford against Ole Miss, which will happen Tuesday. Although last year so much success against him, you win in Oxford, you win at AutoZone Park. Talk about the challenges for a young team. We saw a lot of new players this weekend as they go down Tuesday to meet Ole Miss. It'll be a different experience for a lot of guys, and, and, and we're facing a team that is armed with tremendous pitching. So it'll be a matchup of, of two really good college pitching staffs, I think. And it'll be one of those games where uh, it, who, can, who can drive a run with two outs, who, who, who gives anything. If you give anything away, uh, you, you know, it's going to hurt you. Uh, but I, it's going to be a good challenge. I look forward to seeing this club in that environment. You're going to go with Danny Denz? Have you made up your mind yet? Probably Danny Denz. I'm going to visit with Coach Mack. We may we may 
uh, split some things up or we, mm -hmm. we go two, two, and two. You know, we, we, we may pre-program some moves. Uh, we've had success doing that down there where we, we create different matchups throughout their lineup. But, but probably Danny Dens, uh, Connor Alexander may be in the mix. Uh, Muse can come back. I thought James was very good was. today. Uh, so we, we've got enough arms to, to match up with them. It's just if we can scratch out some runs. Great way to start the season. Thanks, Greg. Congratulations. Thank you, Greg. Well, one of our stars of the game is Evan Bell. Of course, the Tigers playing the two games today, but Evan uh, made an impact in both games. First of all, you make your debut in the opener. You get yep. that double. You score the run. Unfortunately, guys weren't able to come back and win that game. But what was it like to get out there and make an impact? Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was a little nerve-wracking because before that double, you know, I misplayed that ball in the right. I mean, that was – they always say, like, right when the guy gets put in, that's when they're going to get right to you. So – of course, that happened, so that was kind of a bummer. But, you know, it was a real confidence booster to get that double after that, you know, so I'm glad I could contribute in some way. So. Yes, I let you bring that up. I, I wasn't going to bring that <laughs> up. Uh, but, yeah, you, you get in the game, the first ball is hit to you and gets you turned around, yeah. but you come back with the double. Game two, of course, a lot better for the Tigers, a 7-1 to one win. And, look, I'm 5'8", he's 5'10", but look at this guy. Yeah. Home run, double. Yeah. Thought you had two home runs. Yeah. First of all, that second one, how close was that? I, th I mean, it's kind of hard because the foul pole was only like that tall and went up there. So, you know, I thought I had a chance at it, but, you know, it's too good to be true. So. Well, you hit that You hit that first one. So yeah. tell everybody about that first home run, the Tigers' first and so far only home run of the season. What was that like? Well, I think uh, what the coaches do, they really help us, you know, have a game plan at the plate, you know, because that guy – um, once he got it, or once he got behind it, then he was throwing mostly fastballs. So once I got three one, I knew a fastball was coming. So the guy in third, I was just trying to get the ball in the air, score the run. But um, you know, the wind carried it out a little bit. I got it, so it was pretty exciting. I was saying on the broadcast, uh, you're not getting cheated on your hacks up there. Oh, no, I mean, you had no, another no. double later in the game. Yeah, yeah. So that I mean, because the coaches they don't they don't really tell you exactly how to swing. They kind of let you you know have your own kind of swing. But the only thing is they want you to swing hard. So so your approach yeah. is swinging hard and right, being yeah. aggressive. Yeah, yeah. What do you think so far? Opening series, you guys get the win. You take two of three. What do you think about the, uh, the chances of this team going a long way this year? I think we had a really good chance because our pitching this year is much improved from last year. And I think, you know, we hit well this weekend, but I know we can hit a lot better. So I think going forward we're going to be, you know, we're going to put up a lot more runs and hopefully our pitchers can continue to put up zero. So. It, is it hard to sit out a year like you did last year as a red shirt? I mean, it was hard because, you know, you're used to playing and everything. But, like I said, the coaches really, you know, developed you. I have a game plan now to play, which last year I didn't really have, you know, that much of a clue. Even, you know, this fall, you know, I didn't have that great of a fall, you know. And I still have a long way to go, too. So, I mean, you can't uh, look too much into one game, but, you know. I don't know how much going. you peaked at the schedule, but your first real road test happens to be Tuesday yep. in Oxford against Ole Miss where they get amazing crowds. Mm -hmm. You guys beat them twice last yep. year. Are, are you fired up to go on the road and oh, to yeah. be in front of the hostile environment? Yeah, we're always excited to go down there, and especially, you know, with Ole Miss. We beat them twice last year, so we're not scared of them or anything. So, no, we're ready to go on Tuesday. Hey, congratulations on the impact you have made, my friend. Thank you. Looking Thank forward you. to it. Evan Bell. Thank you.